In this video, we're gonna talk about how you can start a staffing agency from the comforts of your home. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Natasha, the business recruiter. Welcome back to my channel. So when it comes to starting a staffing agency, we've talked multiple times and multiple videos at this point. So you understand that there is a lot that goes into starting one. However, one of the most advantageous things for you is the fact that you can actually start one from the comforts of your home. So if you're not familiar with what exactly a staffing agency is, then let me take a couple minutes to actually break it down for you. So a staffing agency, unlike a recruiting agency, actually focuses on you placing temporary workers or temporary employees. You're basically serving as that middleman or that intermediary between an employee and an organization, which ultimately that organization is your client. Now, staffing agencies can be rather lucrative from a revenue perspective because it's all about value. The more requisitions that you have, ultimately the more temporary workers you're able to place, which means that you're able to get significantly more revenue. When it comes to you actually starting a staffing agency, these steps are gonna look very very similar to you actually starting a recruiting agency. One of the first things that you really want to do is focus on where your niche is going to be. Are you going to focus on a multitude of things or is it just going to be one thing in the very beginning? And by thing, I mean industry. Are you going to focus on, let's say, manufacturing, such as warehouse workers, or are you going to be more focused on healthcare, such as nurses? Where you decide to niche is extremely important, but not something that you necessarily have to do in the very beginning. However, it's important that you do keep in mind the end goal. So it's important that you at least think about it as you're entering the beginning stages of starting your staffing agency. Now, the next thing that you have to do is to actually make sure that you have enough capital in order to operate your staffing agency. And the reason being is that you are now gonna be responsible for the payroll that's associated with those temporary employees. Now, there's ways for you to go about leveraging other resources if you don't necessarily have the full capital available, such as a back office, but you wanna make sure that you do have some form of startup capital in order to be successful from the very beginning in terms of starting your staffing agency. And then ultimately, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do all of those things to make your business legitimate. That's gonna mean setting up your business entity, getting insurance, getting your domain name, setting up your website. All of those things are gonna be extremely important in terms of you being able to say that you are running a legitimate staffing agency. Now, one of the key things associated with your setup is the fact that you don't actually have to have a physical office location in order to operate your staffing agency. And I know in most traditional staffing agency models, there's usually some form of an office or multiple offices that are set up, but that's just simply not the case with the level of technology that we do have now. So you're actually able to operate your staffing agency from the comforts of your home. That doesn't mean that you're gonna be in every single room within your home operating your agency. You wanna make sure that you do have a designated place that's set up within your home that you're leveraging as some form of a home office. This will allow you the space to be able to focus, but there's also some tax benefits that are associated with that as well. If you're enjoying this video so far, then be sure to go down below hit that subscribe button as well as that bell so that you can get notified when all of my new videos drop weekly. Now, I know that the traditional model of starting a staffing agency and having a physical location is usually what's talked about the most. However, there are some cons that are associated with it and some rather big cons that you wanna keep in mind. And for me, one of the biggest ones was in regards to the upkeep costs that's associated with having a physical office location, as well as just the expense of paying a lease for a commercial property. Again, and I viewed these as expenses that I didn't necessarily need to take on in order to be successful. I knew that the opportunity to be able to run my staffing agency from home was going to be beneficial for me from a long-term perspective. Now, you're probably wondering what are some of those things then that you're going to need in order to start your staffing agency from the comforts of your home. This looks no different than any other business. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have a computer. We already talked about a designated office space, but ultimately the thing that's gonna set your staffing agency apart from others in terms of you being able to operate it remotely from the comforts of your home is going to be the systems and software that you have in place. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have some form of a payroll software because again, you're gonna be paying your employees. You also wanna make sure that you have some form of an applicant tracking system or ATS because you're gonna to wanna to make sure with the volume of candidates that you're gonna be receiving that you're able to house their information in a centralized location. 
And the same also goes for your clients. You wanna make sure that you're able to keep their information in a secure location, and that's where a customer relationship management or CRM system can really come in handy for you. With a staffing agency, these tools and software are actually considered to be non-negotiables because you wanna make sure that you set yourself up for success from the very beginning. Now, while there's a lot that goes into you being able to run a staffing agency, it's important to understand that at least you're able to do it from the comforts of your home. This can really be a game changer for those who are maybe still working a nine to five job, but want the opportunity to be able to start their own successful staffing agency. Understand that this is something that you can do remotely, and ultimately it's up to you to determine exactly how big you wanna scale your staffing agency. And if you feel the need down the line to actually get a physical office location, then understanding that that's okay as well but it's not a requirement in order for you to be successful. Well, I hope that you found this video to be helpful. If you did, then be sure to give me a thumbs up. As well as if you're not in my Facebook group, then I highly encourage that you join because we are in there talking all things recruiting. I'll be sure to leave that link down below in the description box. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.